In this mobile home park in Englewood, they don't expect the power to return for another two weeks. The water, another month. But what good is either when there's no home left to receive it? Try and pick up what you can, salvage what you can, and we're trying to figure out where we're going to live. We're trying to figure out just how we're going to get through the next couple of days. On top of everything else, looters have been a threat in these vulnerable neighborhoods. This is the worst. This is definitely the worst. But some people will stay without power or water. What are you going to do? Ah, just chilling out, waiting for everything to get restored. And they, do they say when? No, no, they have no clue. And phone service is out. Texas is spotty at best. No internet at all. It was actually a tornado that was spun off from the hurricane that hit this neighborhood. That's why some homes were left untouched. Others are gone. Got this. Let's go. One man who chose to stay in his home during the hurricane and was trapped when it collapsed was pulled alive from the rubble on Friday. And search and rescue teams like this one have been fielding constant calls from people who've been stranded. In this case, they pulled a Jeep from the water, one of countless submerged cars. I've been doing this for 31 years, so uh, it feels good to help people out because people need each other, you know, and that's the only way to get people together. Insurance rates in Florida for home and business owners are about three times what they are in other U.S. states because of the threat of hurricanes. And in this mall, where the roof was stripped away by the storm, the owner told us he did not buy hurricane insurance. Like a lot of residents, he thought it was too expensive. Now, he's simply going to walk away. In the meantime, workers from the Federal Emergency Management Agency are trying to find displaced residents by going door to door. But the road to recovery runs through government bureaucracy. We can't even call our family, so how are we supposed to get on a website to fill out paperwork? Our family don't even know if we're dead or alive. And the fear of the storm has been replaced with a new fear. The storm was very scary and now it's scary of where do I go what do I do Andy Rose TRT World Englewood Florida